Hey, welcome back to the Dave Kittle Show. We are going to talk about YouTube marketing, how to get new patients from YouTube, a 10-step checklist. And I'm going to bring in some colleagues here. We're going to share YouTube right now on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening on iTunes and Spotify, follow along. Let's get right into it. And if you're looking to continue to grow your physical therapy practice, your PT, OT practice, whatever it might be, this is how you can use free YouTube videos. It takes a little time and effort, but free YouTube videos to get right into getting more new patients through social media, through the YouTube platform. So here's an example. Right now I'm showing a YouTube incognito uh, incognito browser with YouTube up. And we're gonna totally, we're gonna simply type in total knee replacement. Very common for physical therapy uh, as a condition or as a diagnosis. We're gonna scroll down, scroll down. This is an incognito browser, uh, nothing else to preface other than boom, here's my buddy, Tony Maritato, Total Therapy Solutions, Physical Therapy. Let's click on this video. Got to wait for the ad to, of course, pass. Let me lower the volume of the ad. Skip the ad. Boom. So here's Tony, and hopefully I'm sharing this the volume. But if not, you don't need to hear the volume of the video. But Tony has 44,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel or on his YouTube channel, and it all starts with zero, right? So he gets patients from near and far, contacting him for either consulting for the knee replacement or coming to their office paying out of pocket if they're out of state and they don't have insurance in the state of Ohio, but he gets new patients through the YouTube platform because of what he's built here on YouTube. Now, of course, yes, it took a lot of time. I'm gonna get into some very low tech, very low barrier to entry steps to get you going to potentially putting some YouTube videos on YouTube to attract new patients who will then potentially call you and wanna just work with you or just work with your practice maybe even pay out of pocket if you don't take their insurance or whatever, they'd be more likely to pay out of pocket because they start to know, like, and trust you because of YouTube and how videos can kind of work for you 24 seven. They're evergreen piece of content, these YouTube assets. Tony always says that they're assets. And if you don't know Tony Maritato, you know, you can check them out with choosepctfirst.com, learnmedicarebilling.com, as well as his practice with two locations in Ohio, Total Therapy Solutions. But I wanted to show him as an example, but he, again, he started with zero. He started with, you know, zero YouTube videos and then won his first YouTube video and his first subscriber. So you all have to start from somewhere. Um, and we're going to go into what are some of the elements that he uses that we're going to put into this 10-step checklist. And here's a couple things. So when we go back for a second, you see here this, this uh, quick appealing thumbnail that makes me want to click and learn more about his video if I'm a prospective patient in the area. If I'm outside of the area, then obviously I'm not going to be using Tony Maritato for my total knee replacement if I live in another state, if I'm a prospective patient. But another thing that's key here is the timeline. Tony knows that people have short attention spans. So this video is five minutes and 27 seconds long. What he does is he will answer common questions that people that have total knee replacement or that they're preparing to get a total knee replacement or after they get a total knee replacement during their PT, during their rehab, questions that they might have. For example, how to sleep easier, how to sleep more comfortably after total knee replacement. It's, you know, signs of infection, when to go talk to your physical therapist, your physician, your surgeon, whatever, if there's, you know, signs of infection or too much swelling and all that. He answers so many common questions and he makes videos for just one common question. So, for example, like someone might say, when can I, when can I get back to cycling or when can I get on my own recumbent bike at home? when do I walk up and down the steps a certain way at home? Another thing Tony does is that he'll write in these captions and descriptions of the YouTube video, and it links to whichever website he wants to focus on. So in this case, he's linking to his Choose PT First website, but you would want to link to your practice's website, of course, so that you are getting in front of potentially local prospective patients as well as maybe elsewhere in your state, and then it may contact you to do some telehealth through their insurance or out of pocket, private pay. So let's go into his channel. He's got a ton of assets, uh, these videos that, again, work for him 24-7. Uh, Here's the intro video, and we can see he's got 807 videos. Here we go. Here, I'm going to zoom in. 807 videos. Again, don't worry about how you know large and daunting that is. But again, you just have to start somewhere. So here, what I would do if I was starting a YouTube channel from scratch for my PTOT SLP practice, just model what Tony is doing. So quick, little, short, intriguing headlines. Every, every episode, every video, 
is a quick little, you know, six to 10 words of an episode title, as well as some type of a different, but appealing and intriguing thumbnail, thumbnail, which is the, the, the image that you see before you click into the YouTube video. So here's one of the best three sleeping positions after a total knee replacement. And if you have a total knee replacement, obviously the first, what, the first week or two, maybe the first three, three weeks, folks are really uncomfortable. They're, they're trying to sleep with their leg elevated. They want to have their knee bent. The surgeon and the physical therapist do not want their knee bent. They want the knee to be extended and straight, but it's uncomfortable and painful for them. Then they can't get a full night's sleep. And then they're groggy and sleepy the next day and they're irritable. And it is hard to get into that, uh, you know, that therapeutic flow of, of healing and recovery. So Tony's done a ton of YouTube videos around just sleep and total knee replacement. Here's another one, best position to sleep after total knee replacement. How painful is a total knee replacement? And it's like, yeah, like Tony's a professional. He's a physical therapist, practice owner. He is qualified just like you are qualified to speak about these common things. Here's another thing. He will interview surgeons. He's interviewed local surgeons, which then results in them referring patients to him, right? So you can get a surgeon on here on your platform and look at this video, four minutes and 47 seconds in duration. Now, he might have had that, uh, this physician, Dr. Doug Abbott, MD, he might have had that knee surgeon on a Zoom call for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, and then maybe he edited it down. But, you know, everyone's busy and, you know, physicians might not want to do more than five or 10 minutes of, of YouTube video. You just ask them one question, whether it's about the procedure that they're doing and if it's total joint and they're doing like, you know, certain cemented versus non-cemented or, you know, new components or other things that they're doing to, you know, minimize infection and improve outcomes and results and all that. So this, Tony interviewed this surgeon about cryoablation, a pain management technique after knee replacement, if, if patients have persistent knee pain after knee replacement. Now let's go into some other ones here. Mastering stairs after total knee replacement. And these are Tony, these videos are Tony inside of his clinic. And that's another thing that that has been super interesting that I've seen Tony do over the years is that he will record with patient's consent. And that's part of the checklist. I'm going to get into a, a Google Doc next. And we're going to go through these 10, uh, these 10 step checklists as ways to uh, quickly get you potentially up and running to get more new patients from YouTube with, you know, minimal cost. And it just takes some time with, you know, getting this built out with doing videos. They don't have to be high tech or anything like that. But let me click into this one here. This is a, a YouTube short, which are usually like 60 second shorts, 60 second video clips on YouTube. The title is 24 hours after knee replacement. And you can see here, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna zoom in here and you can see this is inside Tony, inside his clinic. And this is a patient. Now you can't see the patient's head, um, but you know we're gonna talk about patient consent and have them sign a consent form. But um, here's an example of just filming the amazing work that you all do, that you do day in, day out at your practice, at your brick and mortar clinic, at you know home, concierge visits, on demand, whatever you might do, if you travel to patients or if they travel to you, simply recording, getting their approval of what the common things that you're doing for patients every single day. And these are, especially in the beginning of a knee replacement, post-operative plan of care, like that first visit or two, like Patients are terrified. They don't know what to expect. They call in, you know, they go through the insurance thing, they schedule a date and time, whatever, but they don't really know what they're getting into. And that is why Tony put this out. He wanted to attract more patients in his area that have or that, that are going under the knife for a total knee replacement. He likes to work with patients that have total knee replacement procedures done. He likes their motivation because they typically arrive for all of their visits and they are less likely to cancel or no show a visit when it's when they have had a total knee replacement because they are under the care of the physical therapist and the surgeon and they don't want their knee to get stiff and they want to get the range of motion back so that they can walk normally and um you know start getting back to their normal daily routine as opposed to uh, and this is Tony's words where um folks with for example chronic low back pain if there's not a great therapeutic alliance or if the therapist doesn't do a great evaluation or doesn't have a lot of, doesn't get a lot of buy-in from the patient on that first or second visit, then, you know, patients are more likely to drop off. And Tony has said, you know, if someone has a knee replacement surgery and they're starting rehab somewhere, they're less likely to drop off. They're more likely to complete the full plan of care, whether it's one month, six weeks, two or three months, whatever, whatever it might re require. 
And those patients are very motivated. They're serious. They do their home exercises. They arrive on time or early for their visits. Uh, they're less likely to cancel a no-show. Uh, and so Tony and his team, you know, get a lot of uh, enjoyment out of that, a lot of uh, appreciation for those types of patients and clients. And so he, you know, built out a ton of uh, total knee replacement content. So here's here's Tony in his home on his stairs. And here is Tony in his clinic demonstrating a drill or, or an exercise stepping down the stairs after knee replacement. And then he's, again, he's inside his clinic. So here's the cool thing is if you have patients in your area that find you on YouTube, they start to see you, They start, you and your practice, you want to film your team. If you have other therapists, you would definitely want to get the other therapists in front of the camera as well. So in my in my preference, you don't want to have everyone requesting you, the practice owner, you want them to re be requesting your other team members. So have them do drills, exercises in your clinic so that the, the potential patients in your area, you putting out videos for whatever you know diagnosis or condition or or procedures that you guys love to evaluate and treat where you guys get energy and, and you just, you get fulfilled and you love treating certain conditions or diagnosis, whatever that is. It could be neuropathy. It could be balance and gait. It could be Parkinson's. In this case with Tony, it's a lot of total knee replacement. At one point, he was putting out a lot of stuff about rotator cuff repairs as well. And that's another thing where those, those patients are going to be very motivated to get back to normal. They want to follow their post-surgical protocol. They want to attend all of their physical therapy visits, they are less likely to cancel and no show for those visits. So another one um, is Dave Candy. I don't know his, uh, I'm doing this on a fly. Yeah, here we go. Uh, more for life. Okay. So I've never even talked to Dave, but we're, we're in a bunch of, uh, you know, Tony's groups and all that. So more for life, I believe he's based out of St. Louis. And he has, look at this. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 500 and 536 videos, and he's got 51,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. He helps people age 50 plus stay active, mobile, and healthy uh, without relying on, what is it, medications, injections, and surgery. Yeah. So, and he puts out a ton of great content. Every single video, look at this, like 10 minutes. I know he puts out a lot of shorter videos, 10 minutes, 11, 12 minutes. The thumbnails are incredibly simple. Like, I don't know what reading level, but third or fourth or fifth grade reading level, that's on purpose. Very simple, no medical jargon. All of his videos, a lot of his thumbnails typically have him in it. Again, if you are a practice and you're trying to build out your team, I would have just my preference. I would have other team members, other therapists on uh, the thumbnails or uh, especially inside the videos, demonstrating the exercises, talking about like answering these common questions. And here's one right here. Uh, can't lift your leg to get in the car, question mark. And so let's click into that. And so he'll, you know, Dave will, ex he's inside his clinic, but, you know, ex like demonstrating how you would kind of get in and out of a vehicle with, uh, let's see, with, it doesn't say any condition. So if someone has leg pain, knee pain, back pain, whatever it might be, yeah, just difficulty getting in and out of the car. And, and here's a video with a simple exercise. Uh, with how to do that. And then all of his captions, all of his descriptions of the videos, again, the headline of the video, always very short. So can't lift your leg to get in the car, question mark. And then of course, in the video description, it links to his website. Here's a little disclaimer here. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's a good idea. Uh, yeah, it is St. Louis, Missouri. And this links to his website, learn more and download a free hip pain guide at and you click on that link and it takes you to his website and then you give him your email address and then he'll do other marketing. And I don't know what he does in terms of after that, but he'll probably offer either coaching, you know, patient care, or he has programs for, you know, do it yourself on your own pace or something like that, I'm assuming. But Dave puts out a lot of, a lot of great content. Then obviously, if you're getting comments over time, the more videos you put out, the more, you know, the more you're helping people, then you're going to get more comments. And then you can see here, he, I'm not even going to click into it, but he answers and replies to every single, you know, question or comment on his video, which is like, that's a part of how you build a YouTube channel is that you reply to comments. And some of these comments are like, look at these like paragraphs, people that are probably strangers to Dave uh, or, or prospective patients. They're writing, you know, multiple sentences, or in some cases, paragraphs, maybe a question, you know, someone asks this question, what hip flexor muscle is mostly involved with this movement, right? So then you take this question 
And like, boom, that could be another video. And he might've already done so. He probably did already. And anytime someone like, which muscle exactly is problematic here? I mean, like any of these questions are, these are follow-up questions from this video, but from this secondary follow-up question, you can make another video about it. And I'm sure he does so. All right. So um, those are two things you can look up. You can look up more for life on YouTube. I don't get anything from this. These are just my colleagues and buddies. You should definitely subscribe to uh, Dave's channel as well as Total Therapy Solutions. Where was that for? Let me go back, back, back. Total Therapy Solutions, Physical Therapy. And this is a great example. This is a patient-facing YouTube channel. Again, it links to, you would want to, you know, under the, under the about, the community now, community. You could have, uh, you know, affiliate links. Tony does a whole bunch of other stuff around that. You can check them out for sure. Uh, here's one where he's linking to one of my videos. Thank you, Tony. Um, but under, um, you would want to link to your practice website, like I've already mentioned. So let me stop share here. I'm going to switch over and share a quick Google Doc. So here's the 10, here's just my, my tips. How to get new patients from YouTube. Again, 10 step checklist. Here's quick, quick and easy. Start with your smartphone. If you haven't done so, just your smartphone camera, very low tech. You don't have to go out and buy something. Make sure you want to like start doing this and like actually have fun with it and all that before you go and spend 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or something on a camera, like get a YouTube channel up and running, start it, link to your website, you know, make sure you're going to have the time and effort to allocate to this. Start with your smartphone and go from there. You're going to get your patients. If you're going to have patients in the video, which I would suggest you do, you want to get patients to sign a, a, a consent or a release, like a social media release, whatever it might be. And simply like just what Tony's doing. So simply filming or recording normal daily treatment, normal daily treatment that happens already in your practice. That is already happening in your practice. Number four, so that's three. Number four, record, video record your therapist answering common questions, answering common patient questions. So those could be like hot pack versus ice pack. What are some others? Which, you know, which mattress, which mattress do you suggest or is best? Shoes like, you know, Hoka's, Hoka's versus A6, you know, versus, I don't know, Nike or whatever, right? People ask about like, what's the best what's the best shoe for plantar fasciitis? And it's like, you pick a Hoka shoe. Tony's done this as well. You could look up Tony Maritato's channel, Hoka's or Asics or whatever, whatever shoe you like for your therapist, for yourself, for your patients, you can make a video about that just from that. Obviously you want to, you want to link to, uh, to your practice website, to your website and your social media channels, like in the description of every video social media channels in the in the description of each video. So a call to action uh, would be like, call to action would be click, but like whatever it might be, subscribe, call to action. It could be, you know, subscribe so that they get notified of future episodes. I keep saying episodes. Other videos that you might be putting out, subscribe or, you know, Call to action could be click on our practice website to learn more, which will be in the description. In in you just copy and paste it from every video to learn more, or it could be you know call us, call us at you know five five five, whatever 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 whatever, right? Call to action, a simple call to action, or it could be multiple or throughout the video whatever. Um, but again, it's leading with value, just like I'm trying to do with this leading with value. So if you're not looking to sell your practice, if you're not looking to get out and sell some of all of your practice, that's why we're putting out content like this to help practice owners to continue to grow, to continue to expand. And maybe in the future, if you're looking to sell or exit, then you contact us at the Fieldmaker Group, fieldmakergroup.com. And maybe we partner, maybe we acquire some or all of your practice. But until then here, marketing, growing. So that was 
a link to your social medias. Uh, the other one was interviewing local physicians. Interview local physicians. Put them in the put them in the spotlight. Everyone likes to be in the spotlight. Ask them questions five to fifteen minutes. Then they will probably refer to you later meaning new patient, new patient referrals. Then, only then, then you can upgrade to a, upgrade to a more expensive camera, you know, tech year later. Once you've gotten dozens or whatever videos uploaded and you're getting some traction, you're getting some interest and you realize like, hey, with this normal cadence, I have, you know, I have time, X amount of minutes or hours per week to invest time and effort into these YouTube videos or whatever. And, you know, you, then you can repurpose the YouTube videos. You can put them on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok or whatever, but you want to get that cadence going first on a low budget, low tech, nice and easy. Again, you want to have short and concise YouTube titles as uh, the examples of Tony Maritato and Dave Candy's. Take a look at those. You want to have intriguing, intriguing thumbnails, which you certainly, I don't know, in if you look at Tony's original videos, he might not have even had thumbnails in the beginning. You could have you could outsource that to someone on your team or, or on Fiverr or something like that. Those are just the the thumbnail is the the initial picture they see before clicking on your YouTube video. All right, and 10, you wanna ask your, you wanna ask your patients to then share these YouTube videos on their social media, if possible, onto their own social media. And that, then you're asked, and especially if they're in it, if they're in it, if uh, Mary Johnson is in your YouTube video, you have already had her sign a, social media release form, consent form, whatever. She asks a question and you answer the question and that could be the video. Or it's you're demonstrating an exercise or a treatment or a drill or a mobility technique or whatever it is. You could be doing manual therapy on Mrs. Johnson or you're having her do an exercise or a movement or whatever and she's the patient in this example because you're filming inside your clinic. And then she will be more likely to want to share that you send her the link, text, email, whatever it might be. You send her the link after you publish the YouTube video. And, you know, again, people love to be in the spotlight. People love to be, you know, up in lights. And so you can ask that person and others, your other patients, to share out these YouTube videos. Which one do they like the best? The, the thing that resonates with them the most that's obviously about their condition or whatever. And that's helped them. And asking them, hey, could you, it would really mean a lot to me. Can you just share this on your Facebook? Can you just share this on um on your LinkedIn or wherever it might be. But again, mostly, you know, sharing links on Twitter. But if it's adults, if they're, you know, 50 and 60 years or, or above, it's usually going to be on Facebook. But that's a little hack there. These, uh, like I said, I've gotten most of these from just kind of observing what Tony Maritato has done as well as Dave Candy. And if you are looking to continue to grow your therapy practice, definitely subscribe to the Dave Kittle Show because I'm trying to put out content like this to continue to help expand your practice and the profession. We're all helping each other here. And at some point, if you're looking to exit or sell or thinking about an exit strategy or succession plan, contact me. There should be an email and a phone number here or after this video. And you can check us out at fieldmakergroup.com. We'll catch you next time here on the show. Bye now. Thanks. Hey, it's Dave Kittle. Are you a healthcare business owner or physical therapy practice owner who is looking to figure out your succession plan or exit strategy? We might be able to help. And in fact, we may be interested in acquiring your practice. If you're interested, you can reach out to me. Shoot me an email at dave at conciergepainrelief.com. That's D-A-V-E at C-O-N-C-I-E-R-G-E, painrelief.com. Or you can call me at any time, 646-781-8884.